Kabecha mama of four, Juanita Bradfield, took her three-month-old son, Judah, for the routine post-birth checkup in December 2021. He was the picture of perfect health. But when Juanita mentioned casually to the pediatrician that Judah's stools sometimes looked different from her other three kids, his stools were constantly loose and a pale white or gray color. Immediately, the pediatrician admitted Judah to St. George's Hospital. And from one emotion to another emotion, within seconds, it was just like, oh my word, what is going on? And um, yeah, that led us to getting admitted to St. George's and doing a barrage of testing. And Dr. Na said to us, well, he, he most likely has biliary atresia and the only thing that's going to help that is a liver transplant. They had said that the mothers generally are the best donors of, of, for obvious reasons, same blood type, same everything really. And um, when I had done my CT scan, they said, um, there's actually a second artery in the place of the liver that they cut and um, that can be a high risk for Judah but they can still go ahead with it and you know at that stage we were like oh gosh if there's any kind of sound of high risk we obviously want to eradicate that and so um, then we went on a hunt to see who, who would be willing to be Judah's donor and um, we were just so grateful and shocked that wow um, Ashley put up her hand and you know she felt prompted by the Lord to you know step forward and say I will, I will be willing to do that and we like absolutely blown away by her. Um, I was chatting to them I knew that they, they did need someone that the blood type had to be matched and everything else um, and then it was just one day I felt I felt the Lord just whisper into my heart that it's something I need to consider. I need to just ask Lynn for those very initial medical forms. Um, and I think, to be honest, I sort of brushed it away and carried on with what I was doing and didn't worry about that. And um, that same thought came again and again. And I just started thinking, this is actually something I can do. I think my family is set up in a way that um, I can actually do this. Like my girls are a little bit older. Um, I've got an 11 year old and a 14 year old and so they, they understand the whole process. Um, my husband was on board, of course he's a little bit nervous but he was 100% on board and, and agreed with the decision. We are, like I say, immensely grateful for just even the, the community we had mentioned for Dan and Ash, uh, you know, specifically um, uh, being his donor, Ashley being his donor. And then in terms of what comes next, we're just going, Lord, we release it to you. You've brought us this far. We have seen your hand throughout this process immensely. And we know that you are just going to continue ahead. So we continue to trust in you and uh, we will not let fear, worry or anxiety have its way with us. Another just uh, complication in this whole thing is obviously having the three other kiddos who are all under the age of eight. Um, and we've, as much as possible, try to include them in this journey just so that they kind of know what's going on and stuff like that. And prep them as much as possible. So like Janita said, uh, we're immensely grateful for my folks. Uh, they've been such a pillar of strength and support for us. And uh, when there's times where I need to be up in, in Joburg, we know that they're well taken care of, yeah. And then there will be other times where I will be single dad, yeah, and running the household because we, we also want to try and keep a sense of normality as much as possible for other kiddos. And so they'll still be going to sport and to piano and to school and trying to do that as, as much as possible. Um, so that there's never the sense or feeling of uh, being left out or neglect or whatever. That, that has been a big thing for us as well, just to make sure that they, that they aren't feeling that.